Hello, I'm Bood FM, and welcome to the Road to Anywhere, my journeyman series, the series I bring to you mainly once a week on a Saturday with a few little extra episodes. As always, thanks for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you smash that like button, it really does help me out, seriously. If you're brand new, thanks for checking out this series. Hopefully, you go and watch some of my other videos. And if you really want to help my channel out, you can always become a patron. You find a link to that down below in the description. So, this week, I haven't done many videos this week, I think I've done one. Well, um, a busy week really, sort of, doing a few family things, but mainly just playing football manager. And in fact, I played two seasons of the journeyman <laughs> this week. So I'm hoping, well, today I'm going to bring you this episode and then maybe in a couple of days I'll get around to editing the second episode. Um, but yeah, it's been fun. I've, I've really enjoyed this. Obviously, I'm a new team. You don't know where I've gone, um, but it's a fresh challenge for me and yeah. Um, do things I've learned things on this journey man and I'm starting to put them all together so I'm hoping we can do something with this team but where have I gone well I'm still in Europe I showed you the list of clubs at the end of the season um, so I, I resigned and I applied for one and got it and I'm excited Yes, I'm here in Romania, a country I've never managed in, with an old powerhouse of European football, Stal Bucharest. But they are no longer called Stal Bucharest. This club was a, an army club. I think the club, the name, the stadium was owned by the army or the Ministry of Defence. You all remember Romania used to be an old communist country when I was growing up, so I'm guessing it's something to do with that. Um, now, someone else ended up buying it. I think they put shares out. They had shareholders. One of the shareholders ended up owning the club. They broke away from the army. Um, but then a couple of years ago, the army, I think, won a court case to get the name off them. So they can no longer call themselves Style Book Arrest. So it's Football Club FCSB. But I'll probably call it Style Book Arrest. It'll probably slip out of my mouth a few times. It's just easier than FCSB. Rubbish, that, isn't it? Um, so the logo's changed as well, which is fair enough. And they're no longer playing their own stadium, which was quite small, really. We're playing in the National Stadium, which is 55,000 seats. So we don't own it, but it's a pretty sweet stadium. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, so it's pretty good, apparently, though, as well. The, the, the army's still fighting to make them clear the history. I mean, this sounds like a bitter feud. And what a history. A Champions League in the mid 80s not only that they got back to the final a couple of years later and lost um but you know i think they're the biggest club in romania and they've got the most fans i think a survey said I think one in four fans in romania is a style bucharest fan and um, but there's other teams in bucharest and it's a good league i like it it's not the most highest ranked league i think i'm slowly going backwards from turkey i stepped down to go to austria and i'll step down again <laughs> to come to Romania, but I want to try different things, especially leagues like this that I've never managed in. Now, obviously, I cannot pronounce that nickname, and I bet, unless you're Romanian, you can't either. So let's not let's not try, let's not worry about it. Um, but yeah, we've got first rivals with Dynamo Bucharest, FC Rapid, Astra, Cl CFR, is it Cluj? Cluj? And FC. Now, how do you spell, how do you say that? I'm going to need to learn how to say that because I think they're the number one team in Romania at the minute. If you go to a national page, you can always see who the top clubs are. And when you look at the major club list, which uh, should be above my head, can you see it behind my head? Um, it's usually in order of the number one clubs in the country. So you see, we're third at the minute with a team I mentioned a while back I'd, I'd never heard of. One of you guys sent me a brilliant picture on Twitter. You've got their kit, which is amazing. Is it University? Univers the university team, come on, it's early, it's 5am, um, so FC Vitali, roll, roll, blah, 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 blah. let's can try it, let's try and learn this, FC Vitarol, Vi, that's why I'd pronounce it, Vitarol, sounds like a cream you'd put on, I don't know, a scab on your bollock or something, doesn't it, I've got a scab on my bollock doc, don't worry, I'll prescribe you some Vitarol, do you know what I mean, got an headache, Take two Vitarol. 
So yeah, this is this is the number one team um, in the country at the minute. They've won quite a few titles recently. So facilities, obviously, we're playing at the Arena Nationale, and it's huge and it's pretty good. Um, don't cost as much a year, twenty eight grand. Peanuts, practically, bargain deal that. And um, it's pretty new. It's owned by the council or the government, probably. Um, but it's in Bucharest, great city. Somewhere, you know, it's one of the famous old European cities, and it's somewhere I'd like to go and. I'm a big fan of history, and I love Roman history, Greek history, I love all that kind of stuff. And I know where Romania was, there was a, a tribe there, or a group of people who used to fight the Romans, and I think for years they put up a fight with the Romans, and eventually Rome had had enough, sent an army in there and wiped them out, because Rome wanted that land, I think there used to be, a, I don't know if there still is, but there used to be a lot of gold there, and when they wiped them out, not only did they kill them all, they kind of named the country after themselves, that's why it's called Romania after the Romans so yeah kind of like that but we've got superb train facilities excellent new facilities hopefully we can improve that a bit but it's going to be a challenge here and I, I was going to have to use some of my techniques that I learned in Turkey or that not that I learned that I remembered in Turkey and look at this as a bit of a, a slow rebuild because although I'm going to be starting with 22 million and 3 million ish to spend this isn't going to be a big money league you know I'm not in Europe this year either this first season while I'm here so I need I need to start thinking of ways to make money and the only way you can really make money is by getting players and selling them on and you can do that easily on this game easier than I've ever found on previous games and I did it in Turkey and I was gonna try and do it here. I was gonna try I was gonna try and make a business of signing players on a free and selling them on as quick as possible so this is the league it's got 14 teams in it Obviously, we haven't won the title for years. This is the biggest club in Romania. We are a European Cup holder. You come to our stadium and go on a tour, you can have a picture of the European Cup in freaking Romania. Do you know what I mean? How mad's that? So, I, obviously, we'll get our name back on the top. But this ain't about winning the title here. That's something I reckon we could do. I think the challenge has got to be some kind of European trophy. Let's have a look at the rules and you do get a, a split in the league. You go from halfway through ish, well, is it February, something like that, end of Feb. The league splits and you go into a championship group, relegation group, all that good stuff. And it's one of them split leagues. A lot of, a lot of countries like doing this, don't they? But apart from that, it's pretty standard. I mean, squad selection is pretty standard. It's like, you know, eight players from Romania, four players from your club's youth academy you can have i think it's seven foreigners i think it's something like that i think i mean we can have a look at it if you want feel free to pause it but it is what it is it's pretty standard to be fair there's nothing too strange about it i don't think the money would be great i'll be honest with you i mean look how much you get if you win that's why we need to generate as much cash as freaking possible um, but if you do win, you get in a Champions League qualifying round, which is annoying. Um, and then you've got some Europa Conference spots. Happy days. So board expectations, uh, finishing the top three. Not even challenged for a title. And then we've got the Cup of Romania. I'm guessing that's called the Romanian Cup, we'll call it. Um, but there is also a Super Cup, which at this point has already been played. Um, and FC Vitorol. Um, be Cluj. I'm just calling them Cluj. I don't know why it reminds me of a vagina. I don't know why. It is five o'clock in the morning. I am drinking coffee. I'm going to try and wake up and grow up. So obviously you don't know the team. It's the year 2038 anyway. So, you know, it's regen central. Um, but we had a good team. I think we had a decent squad. But I wanted to fill out the gaps. But I also wanted to sign a few players. And have a bit of a survival of the fittest. So, I mean, I didn't get rid of any of these. I think what that transfer was already in place, the other guys have left on their own accord. They weren't very good. Um, and I just brought in some players to add to a bulky squad. And my plan was going to be to promote a few from the second team because we've got a second team and then a youth team. Um, and I've got like three players in each position at this point in the season, at the start. And I was just going to get to Christmas. And it's a fight, a fight to the death. Survival of the fittest. And when I got to Christmas, I was going to say, right, who's actually... Got it. Who's been sticking their head above the pit, and then I'd pick two 
players for each position and dump the rest. Get them up for sale. Try and get them sold. And then from Christmas, I was just going to keep trying to sign free players. Players who've got six months left on the contract, try and find some good ones. Do a lot of scouting, lots and lots of scouting. Um, and then when it gets to April, do three people whose contract's going to end in three months. And when it gets to June, a month, and see if I can get some talent. Stick them in the squad. Whoever's good, I keep. Whoever does well in pre-season, I keep. Anyone who comes in and shit, I'll sell them. Some players I'll sign just to sell. And I was going to do that a lot. And this is one of those players. The only player I do it with this year because he, he plays in a great position, but I don't have that tactically. I never use an AMC. I could maybe convert him. He is a good player, but he cost me nothing, right? I bring him in. He was instantly wanted, and I sold him for a bit of money. I'll show you that later. So I have brought in Kenny McDonald. Now, I haven't got England running, remember? The rule of this series, the big five leagues are not on. Um, but there's a lot of English players. I found a few, didn't I? I brought to um, Turkey, and I'd find a few here. They're not world beaters. But they're discarded in England and they'll be very good in this league. So we've got Kenny McDonald, uh, Martino Lombardi, who is a right back who's very good in my opinion. He's 33, but you know, he's got good experience. Rhett Brown Hill, uh, a right winger, a squad filler, another English fella. Uh, Andreas, defensive midfielder, 28, um, definite going to stay, but you know, he's now worth 2.1 million. Keep him for a season. Maybe I can make a couple of million off him. I'm just going to keep doing that. <laughs> Why not? And we've got Jimmy Fernandez, who's 32. So these guys are a bit older now, but they've got a bit of quality. Um, but going into next season, I'm going to try and stick to players under 30. But we'll get to that in the next episode. I'm jumping ahead here. It's because I've played two seasons. That's the trouble. And I have played two seasons. Actually played it. Just so you know. So obviously you don't know this squad. I don't want to go through it all, it takes forever, especially in this first episode. I'll try and look at my squad in the next episode, and I've got a bit more of a settled team. Um, but I'll just show you a few of my main players. This is my goalkeeper, so I definitely want to improve that area next year. Um, the back four is decent. And then if you're going forward, you can look at the star ratings. I might show you a few as, as we go along. Um, Dario Kuric is a good striker, man. For this league, the 30 year old Croatian, decent player. Staff wise, it was crap, so I've, uh, I scrapped it. I could have showed you it, but I've scrapped it. Just trust me on that. Um, I've not added any extra positions, but I've filled all my positions, as you can see. Apart from director of football or a technical director, I've got a new everything. So, again, as always, I know this is boring. I know it is. I talk about this all the time, but it does help a lot. Now, don't get me wrong, they're not the best coaching team ever. But in Romania, they are, and that is all that matters. Um, so I've got a decent assistant in, Hugo Oroke. He's okay. Um, new head of youth, which is pretty decent. And the coaching team's pretty good. Do you know what I mean? Hopefully they can expand it. The trouble is when you search for staff in Romania, it's hard because it's one of them leagues where a lot of people want to come. I don't know if it's because we're an old special club, but wages are crazy. I can offer anywhere between 300 to £500 pound a week for a various staff and um, the majority of the staff want two grand so I could have an out of this world staff if I could pay the wages that's the trouble and no one's took my old job yet I was only there for a season no one's took it yet but great club I really enjoyed that one season there people keep asking about my tactic it's the stop put tactic I talked about it a few episodes ago I kind of changed some other tactic put a few different tactics together and I had them when I was at high duck split and then I've kind of morphed it into this. So it's been what I've been using when I went out to Argentina ever since I've come back. What I use on my commentary rebuild. It's nothing fancy. I'm not putting it out there because I don't think it's awesome. And it's not one of them things I want to put out and say, yeah, I try this. Because you're going to be like, eh, it's okay. But everyone usually wants tactics to be superstar tactics. They want to win every game with it. And that's you know that's not going to happen with this. But that is that is my tactic. Well, this is the vision. We'll have a quick look at it before we jump forward. And they just want to maintain the top three finish. This club has fell a little bit, hasn't it? It has fell a little bit. Actually, when was the last time it won the league? Ten years ago. 2028. And they've come second three years ago. And obviously, they've been in the top three a few times last year. They even made the top three. That's why we've got zero European football. But when you've not got European football, you've got to use that to your advantage. And you've got a pretty good team. And I think we've got a good team. Great chance to get that title this year. 
So pre-season was already arranged um, before I took the job this summer. And for some reason, you have two friendlies right at the end of last year and then two friendlies this year. So it's like we've had four. Bit of a weird timing on it. Um, but yeah, both games are okay. <laughs> Litex. I've got something wrong in my brain this morning. Instantly think of condoms. Latex. What is wrong with me? I was drinking last night because all day actually. It was VE day yesterday. We had a big street party. It was pretty good. We um, social distanced. So everyone's at the end of the drive. But I do live on the same street as my mother. So we went down to their end of the street and shared the driveway. We did bingo. We did a quiz. And then we did sing alongs and drunk beer. But everyone's at the end of their own driveways. But we had like a speaker and that. It was a great day. Yeah, best you could make out of it, if you know what I mean, because you couldn't have a proper party, but the street never does anything like this, and we've all come together. It's been it's been brilliant. Let's start with the Romanian Cup, and we kicked off against Dynamo Bucharest. Bit of a derby. It was 2-2. We won on penalties. Again, I'm doing all right on penalties on both series, apart from when I was in the FA Cup final with Coventry. But I'm, still, I'm still bitter about that. That one final, I don't know if you've seen the last Coventry episode, if I hadn't been beat by my United on penalties, I would have had probably the most perfect season ever. Next up, we've played CSM Poly and beaten 2 1. So, yeah, nothing too exciting. We played pretty well. Andreas, my new deep geezer, he is a decent player. Sits in the hole, does his job. When it comes to the league, we were top by some distance. Got the best staff, got a tactical love, and I know. And uh, the squad fit it anyway, brought in some good players. Like I said, I had a lot of players, um, and at this point, I've trimmed that squad down. I'm going to show you that in a minute, the squad. Um, but yeah, we haven't even been beat. Now, I'm not saying it's too easy, but it's pretty easy. But I just want to keep dominating this league. I'm gonna, I want to stay for a few leagues. It's not about winning the league for me. Even though they haven't won it in 10 years, it's about winning something in Europe because of their European heritage. I want to try and do it with a team that hasn't got any money, because this club hasn't really got money. Not to compete on a European level. I want to see if this signing on the free and then selling on um, idea can really work. And this is one of those, uh, the one instant sell on this season. I was going to try and do more of it next year. I was just testing the water. So obviously it didn't fit the tactic. I've signed him on a free from Inter Milan. And then about two weeks later, sold him back to a team in Italy for 2.1 million. I know he's worth more than that now, but that's 2 million for a club like us. Straight, away, straight in our hand. Great bit of business. Now this is my squad and it looks quite small because I, I did really trim it down. Like I said, it was massive. I mean, I had, to, I had like three goalkeepers, three right backs and stuff like that. Um, so I've trimmed it right down because I'm not playing a lot of football. I'm only playing, well, I played two cup games and the rest is league. So that's all. It's not a lot going on. So I've just been putting out the best team, best team, best team, best team. That's why I've got a certain group that have just played well and stayed in the team, basically, with a few changes here and there. Um, but that's it, Jimmy Fernandez, the old geezer, is scoring goals for fun, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, can look gold wise, amazing. Assist wise, got a few players doing the business. I mean, no one's. I have no superstars. My aim is to get into the Champions League for that kind of money, but I'm never going to win it with a team like this, not in a short space of time. Our best bet is to get into the lower European cups and maybe pick up something there. Um, so my plan is to. Obviously, get in the Champions League if we can, because you get great money. And then at maximum <laughs> level, should be trying to get third in the group to get into the Europa League. And if, you know, I think even if we get in the qualifiers of the Champions League, we get knocked out, we might get into one of them other tournaments. That's my aim. Defensively, we're good, but other big teams are, are around us. We're nothing special, but we're pretty good going forward. So, you know, we're, we're doing all right. We're undefeated. Now, financially, the money's staying the same. We, still, we had 22 million, didn't we? We've got 21. Uh, we've not made a profit last year. We've not made a profit this year. I was hoping that might change. So we jump forward to 27th of February. And this is the point of the season where we, the league splits. But it's also a chance for me to show you, just give you a glimpse of my plan. And this is some of the business I've done. All these players, as you can see right there, are coming in on a freebie. Does that mean they're any good? I mean, look how many there is. I've got three goalkeepers. That's it. I'm going to bring him in. We'll have pre-season. We'll see who's good, who's not. Who can I sell on instantly and make some money? Um, but some of these, I mean, this guy here, 
is a keeper. A keeper and a half. And I don't mean a goalkeeper, I mean I'm keeping him. Um, because you saw me best keeper, didn't you? I showed you him, I think. So you'll see, he's got in here. But this league, if we go down, I mean, some of these lads, like I said, this is randomly. I mean, look at their ages, oh, 25, 24. Now, they're not will beaters. But I'm getting him in on a free, and he's worth 200 grand because his contract's about to run out. But he might be worth a million or two million, or he might be good enough to stay. Now, I'm scouting and scouting and scouting. I've got a few scouts who are pretty good. Um, but I need a scout. I need to get as many, uh, much information as I can as possible. So we scan a lot of young players, and at the minute, at this moment in time, I'm also scan a lot of Romanian players because the club likes to sign Romanian players. And obviously, if I can pick up some good ones, that's great because that helps out with the squad, um, and some decent ones at rivals and so on. But I mean, look at all them that are rivals who would are actually interested. This is an interested list. And also the club starting to work with me quite a lot, as you can see. So we've increased the transfer revenue, which is great. Even though I don't want to spend it. Uh, we've improved data analysis. I've got better wages for me assistant when I need it. I'm just trying to get the wages up. That's one thing. The wages are too low for staff. So we are at the beginning, pretty much, of the Champions Group. Uh, like I said, it's split. Uh, teams start with 50% of points from the main league. So it's like the other one. Where was it last time we did this? I've already forgot. But you get to the champion group, looks like they take half your points off you and you go on. Let's check out the cup though, uh, the remaining cup. And we got to the quarterfinals and played FC Vitorol, who, um, you know, best team in the country. <laughs> then onto the semi finals, which is in fact two legged for some weird reason, but it is what it is. Um, won the first game against them dudes, 2 0, thinking. Double win his first season, easy freaking peasy. Until they booked themselves a place in the final uh, by beating us 2 0, taking it to penalties, and beating me on penalties. So, yeah, my luck isn't always great on penalties. For rule, they don't hate penalties because they went to the final, drew 0 0, and won on penalties again, even though they were crapping the game. That is FMing the university team, innit? Because we did win the league. I don't know if you've noticed the date, but I've jumped forward quite a bit because I've got to save. I told you I've played two seasons. It's one of them where I've just been getting into it, getting into it, playing, 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 like we all do. Um, and I forgot to save the middle point. I've just carried on through and I don't have it on auto save. I, I leave it. Anyway, it is what it is. So yeah, we did actually win the league. So it's, it's back to its full form here. It's not split, but you can kind of tell we got relegated. And obviously all them transfers I've uh, showed you earlier have been made now. It's the 2nd of July, so they've all gone through like yesterday, I think, on the 1st. So I've got this big squad here. So this is where I need to like, have a look at them in detail. This is my plan. Give yourself a good idea of who's who. Now they're in my team properly. I've got my scouts and my staff with them. And play a few friendlies, test a few out, and get some straight away up for sale. And see what happens. Ross Harrison. I don't think he was on the list last time. But he's another English lad. Who's pretty good. So there we have it. That is the end of season 19. And our first year here in Romania with Stal Bucharest. And uh, I know there's not been loads of football. There's not been lots of exciting things to look at. But it's, uh, it's that initial year here. And things are different. But I'm excited. Uh, especially because I know what's going on next year. Not that we're going to be super successful. But I just like this process. This thing I'm trying out. And maybe you'll pick up some tips from it, hopefully. And um, so, like I said, hopefully, I can maybe put it together for you in the next couple of days. It'll be two days, maybe three days, but another episode will be out. Plus one next Saturday as well. And um, I've been putting together a big story video as well. That's another reason why I've not been able to make any other video. So, that's called A New Hope, and that should be out hopefully the day after this or even the day after that. Very soon, anyway. So, thank you as always for sticking with the channel even when now i have quiet weeks i really do appreciate it and uh, make sure you smash the like button um, and make sure you and all your family are safe um, and i hope you had a great ve day celebration yesterday and um, so for me and my family i'm booed take care stay safe i'll see you next time